I'm Tom Shields. I caught up with the Coyotes, who were back on the ice with a vengeance, getting ready for the conference finals that begin on Saturday night in the Soyuz. I grabbed a couple of players for a quick comment or two. Here is the overtime hero in game one in the Summerland series, Austin Cleaver. What was it like uh, the first game of the Summerland series, getting the overtime goal? Tell me what, how you experienced that. Uh, well, it was pretty exciting. I saw a steer come down the wing and then throw it to the net and I just got a stick on it and put it in. And probably one of the most exciting parts, or exciting goals of my life probably. One that you're never going to forget. No. <laughs> now tell me what it's like to be mobbed by your teammates when you score a goal like that. It's a good feeling. Uh, everyone's just uh, all excited and everything, so it's pretty good. Now you're coming out against Chase. Uh, how important will it be to come out flying and get the big jump? Uh, very important. I mean, they're a pretty big, skilled team, so it's going to be a good series. We have to come out strong. Now I know you got quite a few people back in Edmonton watching what's going on, eh? Yeah, a lot of mom, dad, yeah. And your grandma and grandpa, right? Yeah, oh yeah, they're watching. Bryson Shikoni, the pride of Powell River, had a nice power play goal in game three. Tell us about it. Uh, I felt really good to you know get that one off my chest and hopefully there's more to come and hopefully we keep uh, playing good. You've had a pretty interesting year. You split between forward and defense, and uh, and actually playing both quite well. I thought uh, you like going back to the point. Yeah, I, I don't mind. I, I, if coach needs me to play that position, I I don't mind playing it, and I I enjoy it. And uh, whatever gets me on the ice and gets me out there and playing good. So how's it feel to be on a team where any of the lines rolling out can score and play the game very well well to be four deep is really good and i feel like we have a really good chance this year and um it feels great just to be able to roll four lines whereas other teams only can only have two or three at most right so it really makes a difference captain daniel stone daniel kind of kind of a different feeling in the playoffs this year to last year yeah you know the boys are really working hard everyone's buying into the same systems so I think that's really worked out for us. How did you have the mastery in that last game with Summerland down so well? I mean, it was just almost total domination. Like I said, everyone was running the same systems. Everyone was on the same page here. No one was being selfish. So yeah, just uh, all, the gears of, all the gears of a clock, they were just working out. And now I notice you're a little out of breath. You guys are working hard. You're not taking anything for granted and going right at it. Yeah, we're back to practice. Uh, practice is very high tempo, which is good. You know, it gets people in the kind of the playoff mentality throughout the whole week of practice. Now, for a crowd on Saturday and Saturday night, how much would a good noisy crowd help the Coyotes uh, in games one and two? Oh, a big crowd would help out so much, you know. It, uh, it really energizes us, especially after a goal, you know, or just even during the plays here and the, the crowd cheer us on, you know. It, it, it gives us a lot to, to work for. Exciting year coming up in playoffs. Yeah, very exciting. Uh, you know, first two rounds were, they were great. Both great teams played against it, but now we just gotta, you know, set our minds to chase. We gotta, you know, take it to them right off the bat. First two games are gonna be huge. Now Tyler Holes is finishing off his junior hockey career. He's a big, fast, stabilizing defenseman. Here he is on returning home. Tyler, it's good to be back, and uh, you're really flying. How's it? How, what's your assessment of how how the team is going since you've come back? Ah, uh, well, they were already going pretty good before I even came back, so I just kind of tried to jump right in and you know maybe even up that tempo a little bit. But you know they were flying, and I hopped in, and we're still flying. So hopefully we can keep that going. Uh, playing in Summerland Game Four. Uh, Probably one of the best road games the Coyotes has played. Uh, you really had a domination going. Yeah, we definitely did. You know, that's a big game. They're going to you know, work their ass off to try and win that because that's do or die for them. But, you know, we came out strong in the first there and just kept it going through, held our lead, and it ended up working out for us. How important is it now we got the best of five series coming in with Chase? How important is it to, uh, to grab these first two games and put the pressure on them? Oh, absolutely. It's it being best of five. You got to get those wins under your belt right away. You can't have a game off. Every game is going to count. How exciting is it to maybe end your going into your ending your junior career? And there's a possibility of uh, of of extended playoffs. Well, you know, it's always a dream to win a championship. 
But uh, you know, me being 20 and it being my last year, it's always something you're going to strive for, and you want to get that under my belt before I'm done. Well, bring lots of noisemakers Saturday and Sunday night. The Coyotes and Chase Heat square off conference finals. Game one, 8.05 Saturday night. Game two, 7.35 Sunday night. Chuck a duck back at 200 bucks. I'm Tom Shields on the Coyotes on Cairo.